Okay friends, so in the previous video we installed the tools we need for the Laravel. Uh, in this video I'm going to install the Laravel installer and the Laravel Valet, but before that uh, in the previous video we downloaded the VS Code, so let's go and install the VS Code right now. And I'm going to leave the link of the video in the description how to install the best uh, VS Code extension for the Laravel. So after that you just move it to the application and open the VS Code now. Okay. And here it is. Now you need to install the extension. So I'm going to leave it the link in the description and go and watch that video. Now let's go to the documentation in the Laravel. And first I'm going to install the Laravel Valet. So go to the packages and down there we have the Valet. So here we need to say brew update so let's copy this command and open the iter paste that in also we need to run the, to install the php but i have installed after that we need to run the composer global and require laravel slash vale so let me copy this and paste it here Enter, and after that we need to say Vale install. So let me copy also this one. Okay, run the Vale install, and we don't find this because we need. It. So I'm going to open the Vim, the. SHRC, so dot SHRC, and here we have this uh, export default. Let's me make some changes here. So export uh, before the path. I'm going to say. Composer slash vendor slash bin and add this one. Save this and also we need to source this one. So source. Okay, let's quit and open again the item. And if I say now valet install, we need to give it the password and it's going to install the Laravel Valet. Okay, so after this, we need to test if it is working. So ping and foobar.test because the TLD is test in this case. Okay, you see here, TLD is dot .test. Now, if you like uh, dot .test, it's okay, but if you don't like, you can change this one. So, let me run this. Uh, sorry. Copy. And, yeah, it's working, so it's pointing to the 
localhost. And that's it, how you can uh, install the Laravel Valet, but let me change the TLD, so let's clear this up and say Valet TLD is test, but I'm going to say I want code, and it's going to update the this much, and also I'm going to test this with uh, dot code now yeah now valid is configured to serve the tfd for dot code okay now if i not dot code but uh, ping and code code and yeah it's pointing to this localhost okay now if I say CD I am in the current directory now let uh, me create a directory for our work so I'm going to say make directory work or uh, if you want code, I'm going to say code. Okay. Now I'm going to cd in the code directory. We don't have anything here. And let me uh, park this directory so every project is going to be inside this. It's going to have that. Uh, TLD extension, so the directory name and in our case it's going to be .code. So just copy the valid park here and say valid park. We are in, in the code directory, so let's add it here and this directory has been added to valid path. Okay, now let's go and install the Laravel installer. We'll get started installation and install via composer. Now here we have the composer, but let's install the Laravel installer. Just by running this command, composer global require Laravel slash installer, hit enter. Okay, let's uh, quit and open again the editor. And just I want to show you if it is working Laravel. And yeah, it's working. Now cd in the code. Okay, and create a new project by just saying Laravel slash and the name of the project. So that's I'm going to create in the next video. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. If you like a content like this, please subscribe and like the video.